Wait, Moving man. on. Oklahoma. All right, so we got to talk about this. Before I talk about any kind of stats or anything else, Oklahoma wins 35-23. to 23. Uh, Kansas' postgame win expectancy was 69% in this game, which was shocking nice. to me. Definitely nice, but definitely shocking because you would not expect that from a 38-point underdog, regardless of whether it's at home or not. The play that I want to talk about, the fourth down handoff from Kennedy Brooks to Caleb Williams. First off, Caleb Williams said after the ball game, he didn't even know that that was legal. It's not legal. And I don't know that it is. So the ref explained it, by the way. The referee explained it after the game and said that it was legal because he was behind the line of scrimmage. To which my response is, he his forward progress had stopped. Yes, he was his, behind his the line of scrimmage. Progress had stopped by five yards, and they kept not, pushing him not back by a little bit by five yards. If they would have stripped that ball and it would have been a fumble, the ref would have blown it dead and said, "No, no, no, forward progress. We're putting the ball back here." You yep. know that would have happened, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. As long as we know that, I I could not believe that 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 play was allowed to go on. Like, I just, I, I don't even know. Well, I, I, I could. I could. As soon as I saw the replay and everybody I was watching with was like, that's not less forward progress. So I was like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They have, the, the Big 12 has one dog left in the hunt, and they are going to protect that dog with all that they have. Even if that dog is leaving in a year or oh, they two don't care, years or Because they still get the money this year. They make yeah. the playoffs. They still split the money 10 ways. Yep. You're right about that. So Oklahoma again, thirty-eight point uh, favorite. Only won thirty-five to twenty-three. They won yards per play, seven point four to six point three. They won rushing, two twenty to one sixty-six. Uh, but Kansas won overall yardage, four twelve to three ninety-eight. Kansas's third down percentage, they com- uh, they covered or uh, completed whatever a sixty-nine percent third down. <laughs> Just ridiculous. They they won drive points, twenty-three to twenty-one. Turnovers were even. Oklahoma had a fourth down failure. There were a lot of different ways that Kansas could have possibly won this football game, but they were up against it from the get-go. Uh, Josh said, overrated as always. At Flying Hawaiian said that OU play was absolute BS. Kansas was robbed. How often are we concerned about Kansas being robbed in a football game? Not often because typically they are not in games. That's but right. this Oklahoma team has flashes of brilliance and then flashes of, eh, they're probably not very good. And... You got guys like R.J. Young on Twitter that are talking about, hey, you can say that they don't pass the eye test or whatever, but winning is the only thing that matters and whatnot. The only people that say that are the people whose teams are not very good but haven't had to play anybody yet. That's right. That's it. Look at the look at the schedule. Look at who you beat. You don't have a single win that's good outside of the Texas win all year long. Like, I I mean, Texas is good, but is that like is that a a foundation win? win? Is that good? No, it. Did I say foundation or did I say no? Good? No, no, no. Well, you said you said good win. You're right. I'm just okay, I'm, I'm good, thinking. Good is I'm a cheeseburger from McDonald's good or is it shit? Because because a quarter pounder is not bad. It's not the worst thing I've ever eaten in my no. life. It's not great. That's what a win over Texas is. Congratulations. <laughs> you got uh, a quarter pounder with cheese. Hey, Brown Yeti's in. Brown Yeti said Kansas got a third and one on a quarterback sneak that was stopped at the line, but they didn't blow it dead. So Kansas got one as well. Hey, Yeti. Oh, I don't hear this. Yeti. Yeti. Come on. We bringing now. this shit up in here. <laughs> <laughs> Michael said Oklahoma will be embarrassed if they get in the playoffs. Casey, Oklahoma's Vegas. not making the playoffs. Two weeks from now, they're playing Baylor, and Baylor is going to womp that ass. They're going into Baylor, and Baylor's going to beat them straight up. You heard it here first. I, You are a lot more confident than I am. Um, Absolutely. I'm, you cannot play with fire the way they've played with fire and continue to not get burned. At some point in time, one of these teams is going to get them, and that's the game they're going on the road on. And two weeks after that, they go to Pokes, okay? Yeah. And you got Bedlam. And we know shit happens at Bedlam. And you give me, I would say, Gundy and the Orange Cowboys over them all day long. I uh, I took the over uh, 11 on Oklahoma's total this year, on their win total. And, and I don't feel good about it at all when they got Baylor, Oklahoma State, and Iowa State all left. Nope. Those, those, I think they can lose all. Hey, yeah. yeah. Watch, watch Texas Tech next week. Not believe they can't win that game. And Texas Tech, man, that's. They, that's I know. Game. I know Texas Tech is crazy right now, and they are the most unpredictable that's team in the Big volatile, 12. Volatile, for but, sure. But when they're on, they're on. <laughs> Nate jumped in. He said, "A superb quarter pounder reference." Dang, sounds good right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> Cheers to that. Uh, Michael said, it'll actually be funny to watch Oklahoma get smashed. I hope you're right, Chris. Josh said, Tulane close, Nebraska close, K-State close, Texas close, Kansas close, Baylor, I agree with Chris. And uh, Casey said, I agree, Baylor will beat them. Yeah, uh, I, could, I could see it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.